Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me. Uh, thank you for joining me yet for another street photography though. Today I'm gonna shoot with the Leica Q2 Monochrome and I'm in Athens. The weather's absolutely great. Uh, blue skies, no clouds in the sky. Absolutely love it. Um, anyways, um, I want to touch upon some things before going uh, to shoot the street photography with the monochrome camera. And um, when I bought the camera, I have received some comments from you uh, telling me that uh, this fits my style, this was a very good uh, idea to get a monochrome uh, camera. Personally, I don't know if it was a good idea, I don't know if it's... Uh, I have a style, so uh, probably I'm gonna develop a style shooting with, um, with the Leica Q2 monochrome. But I received also an interesting, very interesting uh, comment um, recently from Bella Ax that um, told me that he preferred my uh, multi-layered color image. And um, his reference about Alex Webb, we're gonna talk about this um, later on. Um, during the coffee break because I do want to shoot some, uh, some street photography with this uh, wonderful light. Um, yeah, I do think you can, you can get some, uh, some very good uh, uh, black and white layered pictures, multi-layered pictures, but uh, it takes practice and this is probably the hardest thing to, to obtain in um, street photography, taking um, multi-layered um, um, pictures. Anyways, I'm gonna shoot street photography now because the, one, the light is absolutely wonderful. We're gonna talk about Alex uh, Webb's images uh, later on in the video. I really love Alex Webb, probably one of my favorite um, uh, photographers out there. Anyways, let's uh, let's show some street photography now and talk about uh, chat about later on. Meanwhile, feel free to let me know what you think about the pictures. Wonderful. Oh, yeah. 
really love this patch of light here but definitely nobody will pass here but it looks absolutely wonderful let me show you how it looks just gonna get a shot here like this absolutely love this but not sure I'm gonna have a subject here Time for a short break here in, um, in Athens, Greece, enjoying a wonderful frappe. The weather is still absolutely wonderful. Feel free to let me know what you think about the picture so far in the comment section below. Would love to have your thoughts. And uh, coming back to Alex, Alex Webb's uh, pictures and the work, um, which I adore and probably one of my favorite uh, photographers out there, um, I'm not wrong when I'm saying that you cannot take the same pictures uh, as he does, uh, as, as he did in, um, in Haiti or other exotic places. You cannot take the same uh, pictures in Brussels or the Netherlands or France. Um, you cannot do the same framing. You don't have the same density of people. Um, it's, they're not the same colors. They're not the same light. It's okay to have Alex Webb as a reference and to, to try to take um, multi-layered uh, images to, to compose well your images. But you cannot do the same pictures that you're doing in um, in Brussels, uh, in I don't know, in Buenos Aires or in um, uh, Porto Prince or I don't know where. So it's it's uh, impossible to take the same shots. It's nice to have them as a reference to try to, to build your images to compose, but you're not going to get the same shot. Anyways, this was my thoughts uh, regarding the comment of, um, of Bella, which I really appreciate your your feedback. Um, I'm trying to get uh, layered shots as well, even though. Um, it's not that easy. Sorry, the background. The background, yeah. The pictures. for a sweet snack let's look at this uh, wonderful baklava and if you're in Athens feel free to come up to this place I don't know if you see it in the background there uh, yeah it is called uh, alchemist cake and pastry best pastry best cakes ever so uh, I'm gonna quickly enjoy a little bit of a uh, baklava Moist and nutty, absolutely great. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, go for the orange cake, the portocalli cake. That's absolutely great. You should go that for that definitely.
Mm. How is the, the orange one called? The portocalli one? Portocalopita. 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 That's, that's my favorite. Absolutely great. Go for that one if you're coming to, <laughs> to Athens. that was it time to end it here let me know what you think about the, the pictures in the, the comment section below and uh, it was a pretty good day I would say tried to get as many layered shots as I could um, still loving shooting with my um, Leica Q2 monochrome and I guess Leica Q2 monochrome uh, is for everybody that wants to shoot a monochrome camera it just takes uh, practice and uh, dedication but the more you shoot with it, the more you, um, you enjoy it, and the more you think in, in black and white. Probably that's the that's my take on uh, on a Leica Q2 monochrome. We'll see. Time will tell uh, if it's uh, if it was a good uh, thing um, buying a Leica Q2 monochrome and shooting with a Leica Q2 monochrome or not. So uh, yeah, feel free to follow the channel and let me know what you think uh, about the, the progress or if it's, um, there is any progress. So yeah, uh, that was it. Hope you like the the shots from uh, from Athens absolutely love it to be here in, uh, in Athens especially that the weather in Brussels is horrible um, it's a pretty nice uh, city to shoot uh, street photography and um, food absolutely great weather absolutely great people lovely I'm definitely coming back next winter next winter here so yeah that was it feel free to let me know about uh, the pictures and see you very soon Oh,